Hi Steve, it's good to be with you again. You've just released your latest Energy and Sustainability report, right? Thanks, Jean-Pascal. It's good to see you as well. And yes, this is our third edition of this type of research. And uh, we were able to gather information from roughly 265 energy and sustainability professionals from around the world. So some very interesting observations come from it. Uh, it's a standard practice for companies today to set sustainability goals and actually to accelerate them. What have you learned or what are we learning from this report? Yeah, so the learnings have been very thought provoking. And one of the key things that we learned at the outset of this report is the more ambitious a company is in setting these targets, then the more confidence they have in their ability to achieve them. And it's not necessarily completely intuitive that, that you would find that. And, and by the way, the reverse is also true. The less ambitious, the less confidence. And so that was very clear in the results of the survey that companies that, uh, that want to step out there and be more aggressive tend to have more confidence in their ability to achieve them. And we've really learned this from our own journey, and you know this as well as anyone, as we become more ambitious with setting our own targets, our confidence increases in our ability to achieve those targets. And so the research was very consistent with even our own company's experiences, as, uh, as I'm sure you can attest to. Yeah, Steve, we've really experienced that as we've committed to be carbon neutral by 2025. Frankly, now there is no other choice but to embed sustainability in all of our decisions, right? So everything we do integrates sustainability. Uh, the report also is mentioning a much better digital readiness on acceptance which is positive to hear, right? Yes, it really is. And it should come as no surprise that the stronger the digital readiness and the stronger the platform, the stronger the level of confidence these companies might have in approaching the complex world of energy and sustainability. And so we see that in the research as well. In fact, uh, over the course of last year, we've seen a doubling of the number of respondents that are deploying IoT devices and IoT digital technologies and things like that. Look, uh, it's difficult to disconnect such a discussion from the COVID-19 uh, crisis that we are all facing, right? Uh, it seems we have all experienced a fast forward in digitization. Uh, as we exit the crisis, we see many governments mustering big budgets to serve uh, uh, stimulus packages to the service of a greener future. What are your customers saying about that? So customers are clearly saying it's important that they digitize their ability to collect and assimilate the data, but it doesn't stop there. I think what we're hearing them say is that data management and analytics and things like artificial intelligence, robotic process automation, uh, reinforcement learning, these types of analytics are becoming even more important to apply and take this data and form strategies and, and solutions to meet their needs. And so this is continuing to become very critical. As you've said many times, um, these, these types of analytics are critically important to things like resiliency, sustainability, efficiency, all pieces that will drive recovery of businesses as we emerge from this crisis. And I think especially in areas where economic stimulus is tied to decarbonization, we're going to see an even greater emphasis in this as companies go forward. Well, Steve, always great to be with you. Um, let's make an appointment for the next sustainability report, right? Thank you, Jean-Pascal. We'll be very excited to do it and learn from it again next year.